In this video, I will show you how to link PowerPoint to a Microsoft Access database, which was inspired by Presentation Point and the post shown below. Now let's take a look. Here we have a completed sample. Notice the name colon and stock amount colon, those are prefix labels. The bearing ball and 1000 are pulled from the database. And every five seconds, a new record replaces to the right of the labels. This is achieved using DataPoint, which adds new functionality to Microsoft PowerPoint, giving us data-driven presentations and updating the content when the presentation is running live in the slideshow mode. Let's take a look at a step-by-step -step sample. I've already installed DataPoint so that it shows up in my PowerPoint as its own unique ribbon. I've created a new presentation and I'm ready to put in the placeholders. First, we'll go ahead and set up the data connection. To do this, we make sure we have our data point tab active, and then click upon list in the connections group. Choose the particular data source, mine will be a Microsoft Access, and to the right then, I will add a connection. As I add the connection, I need to browse out and point to the file. I'll go ahead and click Browse Now. So we'll click OK. Next step is to add a query. I'll go ahead and click the Add Query button. I now choose from my data source the particular table that I'm interested in. I've chosen the product list and I'm going to go ahead and the refresh rate will be a continuous update every five seconds. If I needed to change that, I easily could have, but I'm happy with it being continuous and a five second update. I'll go ahead and click OK. I now see a preview down below. It shows me my data that I've pulled in. Uh, the two fields that I plan on using are going to be name and safety stock level. I'll go ahead and click OK. Next step is to put the text placeholders in. First I will insert a couple of text boxes. Once they have the text boxes in place, we simply have one of them selected, go to our data point, and in the shapes group, click upon text box. I can now connect and bind this particular text area with one of our fields. First I'll do name, and on the text tab, this is where I can put the prefix and OK. Go ahead and click the second box and repeat, this time pulling in our stock value. I'm going to put our prefix I'm also going to go to format and choose a particular number style using the thousand separator. I'm done configuring this text object, so I'll go ahead and OK. All right, now I'll go ahead and just line these up with one another. All right, looks good. I am ready to try it out. I will go ahead and save just because I've made changes. And then I will preview and we'll see every five seconds I will get a new name and a new stock amount. As I play through the presentation, we'll see that this second slide, which has my placeholders, is showing a different record every five seconds and would continue to do so. I'll go ahead and click Escape now to stop previewing. So now you've seen how easy it is. 
If I wish to make changes, it's very easy. I simply click upon the text object, go back to my data point shapes and text box, and I then have an opportunity to make any changes. Um, so whatever we want to add here, I can maybe take this label out and change it just like that. Perfectly fine. I can go ahead and click OK and instantly the changes are there. I would resave and be ready for the next time I give my presentation knowing that the live data that is in the database, even if it's changing during our meeting, will be showing on the screen giving me real live up to the minute information which of course is always a plus. Thanks again Presentation Point for inspiring this video. Check out other great options at the link shown below.